Hey everybody, today I will be showing you how to code a discord.py bot in Python. This will be a music bot mainly. So there are going to be a ton of different music commands that I'll show you how to do. This may be a long video, so I'm putting timestamps in the bottom and you can see all of the different timestamps for what exactly I'm going to show you in each portion. And you can pause it and come back to it later and do it in sections if you'd like. You don't have to do it all at once is what I'm saying. So without further ado, let's get into coding this Discord bot. So first off, uh, we are going to go to the Discord developer portal. Developer portal. And basically we're gonna go to applications and click new application. We're gonna make we're gonna make a bot. And this will allow our bot to join servers and basically interact with Discord. So let's name our bot. Let's call him Gerald. Yeah, Gerald the robot. So then you get to this page. And you can choose an icon for the robot. You can add a description. I'm not going to do that right now. And what we can do is we can go over to the left side into the bot tab. And we're going to add a bot to this application. So it says add this bot to this app and say yes, do it. So now we have Gerald the robot. Uh, and he is our bot. So now what we can do is we can go down to here and... Uh, we want to go to the bottom of here and click administrator just to make it so that uh, Gerald can uh, see everything when he when he joins a server. Second thing we do is we go to OAuth2 and do URL generator. Then we just click bot and then click administrator. And then this will generate a link that we can give to anybody who wants to have this bot join their server. So what we can do now is we can copy this link and paste it into a new tab. And then this will come up. So um, it's my user profile and it will allow me to see which server I want to add Gerald to. And I already made a testing server for Gerald. So I'm going to add him to that one. I'll select continue. It asks if you want to give him administrator access. Yes, I want to. And then you do a little capture right here. And now our bot is uh, authorized for the server. And you can see he's on the server now, like that. So uh, we can go back to here and close out of here. Um, first thing we need to do is I'm going to open up VS Code. And we're going to be using Python for this. Uh, I think Python 3.5.3 and higher work for discard.py. I'm using 3.10 right now, but if you already have Python installed, then just make sure it's of a higher version than 3.5. Otherwise, uh, just follow along with me. You can go to the Python website um and download python and just follow those instructions if you don't have python installed already and i'm using vs code for this tutorial if you already have a code editor then by all means use that one um but i'm going to use this one so i just created a new folder for gerald and first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a new terminal and we're going to install a bunch of extensions that will allow us to code this bot I have all of these extensions installed already, but we're just going to install them uh, right now just so I can show you what commands to type in. So first off, we'll do pip, oh, whoops, we'll do pip install pynacle, pynacle, and we are going to install that. It says requirement already installed for me because I already have it installed. Then we're going to do pip install discord.py and then in brackets voice <clears throat> because we're doing a music and voice robot then we are going to do uh, pip install you excuse me youtube dl 
and that's for downloading YouTube videos, or the audio from YouTube videos. <laughs> then we're going to do pip install discord dash component. Ooh, whoops, components. There we go. And finally, we're going to do discord. I mean, sorry, we're going to do URL lib three, which will allow us to help um, parse the, uh, the links that we have and all of that stuff. <laughs> all right, cool. So now we have all of our pip extensions installed. Next, we need to install ffmpeg, which is um, basically how we're going to play the audio in our Discord bot. So what we can do is we can go to the ffmpeg website <coughs> right here and go to download. And then uh, for Windows, I I'm using Windows. Uh, you can either clone a Git repository or you can download uh, whichever one you want for Windows. So, so I'm just going to choose the btbn type and go to this website. And there are a lot of download options, but there is one that should be the best download option. If you're doing Windows, you want to get the FFmpeg Master Latest Win64 GPL zip. Uh, GPL stands for General Public License, and it's like the main one. Um, so I'm going to download this one. Uh, but if you know what you're doing, you can download a different one. <coughs> but this is what we need for the tutorial. So that's just going to go to uh, to the downloads folder. Okay, so now that we have the zip downloaded, we can go in here and in here. And in the bin folder, we have ffmpeg.exe, ffplay.exe, and ffprobe.exe. That is what we want. Uh, this is just documentation, I think. We can take the bin out of here and put it in downloads. And then once we're here, we can say uh, we're going to take the bin and in our drive. And we can go to program files. And I already have FFmpeg installed right here. Um, and this is basically just what it is. So this is what is in the bin folder. If you want to... Uh, put ffmpeg in here, then that is what you should do. You should go to program files, make it ffmpeg folder, and then take whatever is in this bin and paste it in there. Then what you can do is we need to put ffmpeg on the path. Uh, yes, so we want to type in path to search and go to edit system environment variables. And then once we're here, once we see this, we want to click environment variables and then click on path and then we can click edit and then click new and then we would type in whatever the um, uh, the file location of this folder right here is. I already have that typed in, so program files slash ffmpeg, um, but to add it to path you'd click new and type in that you are, uh, that file path. So that basically allows you to add ffmpeg to path and that will allow our bot to play music when uh, it is called on in the Discord server. So that is all we have to install for this tutorial. And now we can just get on coding. So first off, we want to make a new file called main.py. And this will just be our main file. Not everything we're going to be coding will be in this. It's just like the general setup for the bot. <clears throat> first things first, you want to say from discord components, import components bot. And then that is all we're going to import for now. Basically, uh, Discord components allows you to do more fancy stuff with messages in Discord. So uh, this, this will allow our bot to use Discord components. Then we want to set a bot variable to be equal to components bot. And then in parentheses, we're going to include our prefix. So for commands, you want to specify a prefix that will make the bot uh, know when you're giving a command. 
because if there wasn't a prefix, then anything that a user typed would be considered a command, and then you'd have to do all a ton of wonky stuff to get it to work then. So a fancy thing is we can just say command prefix equals, and then I'm gonna use an exclamation point, which is basically just whenever you type a command, you type an exclamation point first, and then whatever the command name is, and that just allows the bot to recognize that it's a command. Uh, and that is our bot variable right there. Then to initialize the bot, um, in uh, the developer portal, you will get a bot token, which then you can put into your um, file right here, just using bot.run and then to uh, token. So whatever the token is, it's just a bunch of letters and numbers. You'll put that in a string and then your bot will run. Your bot will be online then. I don't want to give out my token because anybody with the bot token will be able to control the bot. So I'm gonna do something a little more fancy and make a new file called token.txt. And then I'm gonna put my token in here. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, but basically what we're going to do now is I'm going to say with open token.txt and r. So basically we're just opening the uh, token.txt file as file. So that's assigning it to a variable. Um, we're going to uh, have the variable token equal file dot read lines so it's basically just reading the lines of the text file um, and we're just going to have it read the first line which is the zeroth index so then that token variable can be just put into the bot dot run function so cool now where do we get our token right here if you're in your uh, application you go to your bot and then you go to the actual bot uh, you can see a little uh, thing right here. You can say reset token and then yes, do it. And you'll have to do like a two digit, I mean a six digit authentication code in order to make sure you actually want to reset the token. And I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so I just reset my token. I'm gonna blur it out right here, uh, but it is like a pretty long line of just numbers and letters. What you can do is you can click copy and then either you're gonna paste it into here as uh, in quotes, or what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paste it into my token.txt file. So then I'm gonna save the file and save main.py, and that is all we have to do for main.py right now. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to add what's called a cog to the bot. Um, a cog is basically a category of commands, and it'll be in a different file so that it doesn't um, clutter up the main.py file. So I'm going to make a new Python file called um, musiccog.py. Um, and then later we're also going to do commands for a helpcog.py. So I'm just going to make that file right now. Now, musiccog, uh, we are going to um, make a class inside of, basically. First, we need to import a few things. So we are going to import Discord. We're going to import uh, from Discord components. We are going to import select, select option and button. And these basically allow you to um, do like a drop down menu and a button for uh, having your bot send those things. So it's just nice and useful for um, different selection options. Uh, then we're going to do from discord.ext uh, import commands. And this is basically just allowing your bot to recognize that something is a command. Um, we're going to import async io. Uh, which is basically um, an, a uh, an asynchronous function uh, tool. And then from async IO, we're gonna import, import run 
coroutine threads fair. It knew what I was going to say. Um, and this will allow us to run coroutine functions from inside non asynchronous functions. It's a little niche, but uh, it is required for um, specifically this right here. Then we're going to say from URL lib import parse and request. And this will allow us to um, take a YouTube link and do a lot of things with it to um, make the bot recognize, hey, there's audio in this YouTube link. I'm going to download this audio, etc. Next, we're going to import re, which is another tool for uh, like URL lib. It'll help us with um, doing uh, stuff with the links. We're going to import JSON, same thing, import OS. This will allow us to um, to do uh, things with the operating system. So depending on um, Windows or Linux, uh, that'll be used later. And then uh, a more important one from YouTube DL, import YouTube DL. And this is what downloads the, the audio from the YouTube videos and allows us to listen to music on the bot. So these are all of our imports for this. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a class called music cog, uh, because we're in the music cog right now. And we're gonna input commands.cog, basically just letting it know, hey, this is going to be a category of commands, a cog. Um, so we're gonna def, we're gonna define init. So this is just what happens at the start of the, uh, the initialization of the cog. We're gonna pass in self and bot. Uh, basically, we're gonna call the the cog in main.py and we're gonna pass through this bot uh, variable into here. And then self is just the, the cog itself. So in this init function, we're gonna do self.bot equals bot. That is all for now. So we can save the cog and then we can also go back to main.py and to import the cog to main.py, all we have to do is we have to from music cog import music cog. So that's basically saying from the, from the file music cog, import the class music cog. So then after you call the bot command, we are going to say bot dot add underscore cog music cog and then pass in the bot variable and there we go that is our music cog so now as you can see Gerald is offline currently so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the main.py it won't work if you're in music cog we're going to go to main.py and run and now Gerald should be online so there is our bot and right now nothing really works because uh, there's no commands in it. Uh, with the exclamation points in this uh, pr command prompt right here, you can say uh, it's ignoring a com it's ignoring this first command because there's nothing past the prefix. Then it's uh, this second command. It's saying help o not found, uh, etc. And then all of this. So that's pretty cool. It's recognizing things that we're inputting. 